Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day, and we're starting our conversation with a rather disturbing revelation by the MCE of Ayala, so West Assembly, Madam Sandra Owusu Ahinkra. Now, yesterday on News 360, she disclosed that after research, it has been discovered that 80% of the commercial sex workers you find around East Legon are students, 80% of them, and 20% of them are housewives and church elders. And so she was, you know, discussing as to what can be done and how disturbing this is. And we put it out there for you to also give us your take on it. So that will serve as our rants for today. There are a few messages that have come in. So this one says that this clampdown on sex workers will not help anyone. Their work just has to be regulated by law as it's done in some jurisdiction, uh, jurisdictions. There's nothing that is banned that works perfectly. Any lady who goes into sex work on their own has a need just as the clients. From the clampdown, 80% of them are students and others are married and active religious practitioners. TV3 should research into why they are sex workers uh, for it's only then um, that we can have an understanding of the issue and how to manage it. I call for a legislation to regulate it. Buenote, Bue Matekope in Ada. Thank you for your message. Good morning. I don't think um, far. Okay, is it because of peer pressure or what? Please, it's high time we need to change from certain things. That's China Kwamo. Good morning. I'm Hawa Mohamed Mutala from Kumasi. In fact, I don't blame them since even in school, the teachers will be having sex with them just to promote them. So after school, getting a job is difficult in Ghana. And so you have to do butter <laughs> by giving out sex so that you can be employed. Some are helpless. That's why we have to help them. The reason for this um it's just hardships and sometimes it could be laziness same thing that johnny yeah. said and we'll come and find out their comments too but this is francis from kumasi these days the rate at which young ladies and young women are into commercial sex activities is alarming very much worse is the number of uh young ladies and girls who have barely finished their secondary school education and some who are in tertiary institutions getting involved in commercial sex activities it's so sad, I must say. Students giving their bodies out for money at East Legon. I'm not really surprised because everybody wants to live big, especially young girls of today. The more reason why they're not able to see the future in a young man so they can live life with. Okay, so I'm particularly sure that most of the young girls are even practicing this to get themselves things that are not even needful for them at that stage. Selling your body as a woman is a big indictment on your destiny and you'll surely suffer the consequences in years to come. Say no to prostitution. Joseph Okran from Cape Coast. Um, good morning to you all. I'm Andrew from Jowlu. I want to know the benefits derived from arresting prostitutes and also the measures that can be put in place for them to work without hindrances. Tahiru Ibrahim from Yikba Bongu says, sex as a profession is culturally unacceptable. This is sad and absurd for any human being. And that's why at times strange things visit our society. Hi, TV3. It's true. I can say they are all students. Ogbami from Odoko, official town. And good morning, Bella. I think counseling should be added to all programs in the university as a way of advising ladies to desist from such immoral behaviors and also wear decent clothes always. From Adam Idrisu Alaba from Kumase. Oh. Tell me what you guys think about it. I saw this on the news yesterday mm. and I think I was more disturbed about the fact that a greater number mm. of the sex workers are students. students. Yeah. Because the question is, why are you even involved in this? And yesterday, I put it out on Twitter to find out what people thought. Mm -hmm. There's a, young, a gentleman who has been patronizing them. Yeah. And he gave different reasons why some of them, mm -hmm. you know, take part in it. There's someone who needs to pay her school fees, and that's why she's doing it. A housewife decided to go on the streets because her husband was not satisfying her the way she mm -hmm. wanted. Yeah. And so she went on there. There's another student who is only doing it so she can buy all the nice things on campus yeah. and get to the same level as her friends. Yeah. So, and also, she needs to raise money so she can have fun during the weekend. So she goes on the streets during the weekdays, has her fun, and comes back. I, 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 th I think that it's, it, mirrors, it mirrors what society has become. Mm. Number one, the issue of parenting. And I was just sharing with you yeah. how when I was young, I brought a gadget home, a mm. Walkman. Yeah. And my father says, whose is it? Yeah. I said, oh, it belongs to my friend. He says, I know your friend, but his parents bought this for him. I said, yes. And he says, well, his parents said he shouldn't he bring should. it back yeah. home. Mm. I said, no. He said, take it back. Mm. Yeah. So I took it back. It, we need to get to the point where parents need to start asking questions. questions yeah. Where did you get this iPhone from? Mm -hmm. Where did you get this Samsung phone from? Yeah. How did you come by this Brazilian hair? Mm -hmm. How, parents need to start asking questions, questions yeah. and be becoming parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know a young girl who suddenly has a lot of money and it is her mother that does her laundry for her. Mm -hmm. And her mother yeah. sees nothing wrong with it. And I said, look, you're not, you're not helping her. 
It's not as if she's busy doing proper work. Mm. She's a student, yeah. but she has money. Mm -hmm. And you still pay her school fees. Where did she get the money from? Oh, you still pay her school yes, fees? Yes, father still pays her school fees. Oh. So it's a, from a broken home. So she's right. living with her mother. Okay. And then she, she's flaunting money all over the place. Yeah. And the mother is not asking questions, but rather is cooking for her, is washing for her, and all of that. I'm not saying you shouldn't help, yeah. but I'm saying when you suddenly become your daughter's daughter, yeah. then there's a problem. Number two, I think also that the guidance and counseling units in the universities, they should leave the paper and get onto On the ground. The, ground. Mm. Yeah. the guidance yeah. and counseling units in the school. Look, mm. people are going through stuff. Yeah. Mm. People are fighting peer pressure. Yeah. People are fighting societal pressure. Yeah. Mm. That comes, hits, hits at them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you don't take care, people would want to do things that, you know, they, 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 they haven't originally planned for. Yeah. So the guidance and counseling units must be very More active, active in doing this. And, and then for the students themselves, mm -hmm. know that you cannot buy back your history. Mm. You can only make a down payment on your future. Mm -hmm. So today you have been picked up. You have been shown to the world. Yeah. Possibly you may be pardoned yeah. Yeah. or you may <coughs> be fined. Yeah. And then what? Mm. 10 years from now, when you have become a big woman, you have gotten your degree, and somebody makes reference to you, oh, this is the girl, you know. Yeah, that I, I have, said, yeah. How, how yeah. would you feel if you're driving in town with your children at the back of your car, yeah. and somebody waves at you, hey, customer, hmm. how would you feel? <laughs> I would <But> hide. <laughs> how, how would you feel? I, I genuinely <laughs> feel, though, that um, some, some women would say that they have no option, or some mm. of the students would say they have no option, because if you look, some of them really don't have a support system. They mm. come from some far place. Yeah. Um, their parents are not around, or mm. probably have passed, and they still want to go to school. They've yeah. pushed through, probably mm. went through SS, and they thought, I saw, I saw a story like that a few years ago. They still want to go to school, mm. and there's no, there's no seed fund to yeah. you know invest into anything to turn the money around, and so, well, that's the that's last the resort. Let, let me and so, I, yeah, I, they, they go into that. I, I want to say this as well. Mm -hmm. I, of course, we all know that sex has become very cheap now. Okay. Anybody at all can get sex at any point in time. Yeah. It's and become also, lucrative, actually. It has become lucrative, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the people who are supposed to help you yeah. are now telling you that if you don't give me this, this. I'm not going to give you. Yeah. So at that point, you, you are between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. You don't have a choice. And mm. that's why some ladies become so vulnerable. I, I, look, because mm. I feel like that's the only way I can survive. Yeah. I might as well try it once. Mm. Maybe I try it once and I realize, oh, I well, could you make got so much out of it. Exactly. Let me try it again and see. Certainly. Back in the day at the GIJ, there was a lady, um, you know, student, who used to sell yam mm. right okay. to Fusida School. Mm. Now, she needed money to go to school. And she started a small yam business. So yeah. Because she knew that there was not enough food around the place. Mm, it was okay. just the, the canteen, Auntie Naomi's canteen, mm -hmm. and the cafeteria, and, and then all you have to go very far. Yeah. So she started a small yam, fried yam business there yeah. in front of the school. And she would leave lectures at some point, come and fry because she had already cut mm. the yam. And then when students come on break, people rush and buy the yam. Yeah. Yeah. And that was what she funded her school fees with. I'm not telling everybody to go and to do sell that. yam. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they are weekend jobs. Yeah. They are holiday jobs. I used to work in a biscuit factory and play yeah, in a band to fund my university fund. education. Yeah. Yeah. So people want an easy way out. out. Mm. And that's the big problem. Yeah. People want an easy way they out. Do. It is a big problem. problem. You I find, look, mm -hmm. you find students who are not even willing to sit down on their, on their buttocks and read their own books, books. for that's two, true. three hours. Mm. Such are the students who would want an easy way to get to away mommy, yeah, yeah, away mommy, mommy, do this exactly. for me. Because they don't want to do it. Mm. Yeah. When we were in school, we used to wash our own clothes. That's true. Mm. And hang them. <laughs> Today, they you call people somewhere. any work to come and do it. Yeah. They call any work, come and do it. Or soppy, they'll come and do it. And Pardon then they give them. them. You know, sometimes the detergents well, are harsh on your skin. Well, yes. but, the, uh, so but the point... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 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 society itself, and, and what we're seeing is a mirror of what society has, has become. become yeah. Yeah. Again, the government needs to have a proper, I keep talking about it, yeah. Yeah. a proper social protection policy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Proper social protection policy so we have funding for brilliant but needy yeah, exactly. and not just for party for boys party. and girls. Yeah. Because even the student loans trans fund mm -hmm. now is becoming political. Yeah, that's not true. just now, I'm talking about, I mean, when I was in school, mm -hmm. we knew that there were elements of politicking in there. Yeah. But now it's become worse. Hmm. Pretty much like what we do to pre-mixed fuel and or even NADMO handouts. Yeah. They yeah. look at your face 
and they determine that oh in the community you 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 are either NDC or MPP. Or, if it's an NPP yeah. that's in power, yeah. mm. you don't get it first. If NDC in power, you don't get it first. Mm. You're on the opposite side. We need to change. State resources, social protection should be for every single person. There are people who are genuinely brilliant, but yeah. they are needed. But they are not yeah. exactly. And there are some who also need just a little push. Yeah. What do we do as a country? And you see, these girls, for whatever reason, whether peer pressure, societal pressure, lack of financial muscle to, to, to get through it, mm. when they are done with their education, this is the same country where we'll be expecting them to give off to patriotic, give off. Yeah. patriotic services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What level mm -hmm. of patriotism can you draw from such a person? That's true. Who feels that I have been let down, I have been yeah. left to fall, yeah. Yeah. and now yeah. the country suddenly comes and says, come and be patriotic. For where? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I only have a question. When you Pastor, know? Pastor Odro says they have smooth, creamy, mm. whatever it is, <laughs> and they will take them to hell. And they'll take them to hell. Mm. I want to ask this. Uh, I know that most of the private universities, when okay. I say private, I'm talking the likes mm. of Ashesi okay. and, and stuff. So every vacation, the yeah. students are made, I, you know, they ensure that students get some internship. Mm. Okay. So three months internship so that you can build on your experience. Yeah. So that by the time you're out of school, you already know what your interests are, exactly. what your strengths are, and you can get a job easily. Yeah. Unfortunately, for a lot of our public universities, I don't think that there's a structure that ensures that every student mm. gets uh, to do an internship every holiday. To say that it's compulsory. Exactly. Okay. And so my problem is, unfortunately, our educational system mm. is structured in such a way that First of all, it doesn't even encourage entrepreneurship mm -hmm. because we're all that's going true. there to just read the books, yeah. pass our exams, and then and we're done. And so that's the, that's the system, and we're all going through it. At the end of our, our course, we don't even have the technical know-how yeah. 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 to get a job that suits our interests mm -hmm. or our personalities. And, and so that, then we're found wanting, and, and that was why I, was, I don't have a job. That, that yeah. was why I was, I was asking to tag. Look, they are insisting on getting allowances and all of that. The mm. Technical uh, University Teachers Association of Ghana. I said, look, are these the same teachers whose students industry completely tell us that they, they can't employ them because they don't because have the don't employable have skills. Mm. And I have seen some students come here at Media General yeah. for internship, mm -hmm. either from the GIJ, either from AUCC, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. They've come here for internship and, and as lazy nothing. as hell. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have, they start, maybe you start with like 80 people, mm. 100 people, they come around, they distribute them, yeah. And then they, they start vanishing. Oh, yeah. Oh, they themselves. Yeah, because they, they realized the work was because, more Because okay. now, when you come to the newsroom, they tell you, you have to join a senior BJ yeah. to go out for an assignment. Yeah. You come but back, like you write that. a story. But isn't that what you, you want at the end of the day? Well, that's no, what you're working that. towards. But, but but they want to become presenters. To so even to even carry a chair onto that's, the set, they won't But we carry chairs onto the set. they won't do it. And I've experienced that a lot. Because a lot of them come and say, oh, I want you to help me become a TV presenter. I like what you do. Okay, come and join us on my show. She comes and maybe we're supposed to fix the set and ensure yeah. that we're calling guests. Yeah. No, 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 sorry, I didn't come here to do that. Yeah. I came to be on she show. She wants make up. Part and, of the show. And, and so I have seen no. that. I have seen okay. that where they themselves, they give up. Yeah. You know, sometimes they yeah. assign them to a senior BJ who is doing a documentary yeah. and they have to travel to the hinterland mm -hmm. and, it, they won't you know, it's use a makeshift so washroom. Right. And then, no, 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 they don't But there are some lecturers who are actually doing, making a change. They actually ensure that they add a bit of, you know, solution-mindedness to all of their courses. And so How even they structure oh, just a how many of them? Uh, hopefully, I, I, I just hope that other people could also, could also learn from them? them because those students actually... I, I, know, I know a few you know, lecturer really friends of mine, Noah Luchiga mm -hmm. at uh, GIJ and a couple of them, Dr. Yeah. Dipondams, who would have, you know, industry people come and do seminars. Yeah. With their, so they, we're talking practicality, not just... But how many of those people exist within our educational landscape? People are just interested in teaching you one thing and telling you to reproduce it for them in an yeah. exam just yeah. so you pass okay those but we, have, we have gone beyond We've that we've gone beyond, yeah. beyond that anyway we've gone beyond that. <laughs> gold mine. we talked a lot we want to hear from you as well so you can join us via social media tv3 gun and also on whatsapp the numbers will be on your screens let us know what you think about the statistics that have been dropped by the mce of ayawaso west assembly saying that 80 percent of commercial sex workers in east Legon are students with the 20 remaining uh, being housewives and church elders it's tv3 new day the